We are Mike and Jen Archbold. We've been attending SSV for about four years. Our adoption journey started out actually as a foster care journey and we had decided pretty early in our marriage that being a foster family was something that we would explore. Mike had worked several years at a camp for foster kids and my career is in social work. We decided once our biological children were of an appropriate age where they could be a part of the decision, we would have the conversation with them and we all decided together to be a foster family. Our training was very intense in training and love and it was a whole family affair of learning patience and gentleness and kindness and self-control. On a Saturday, we got the license in the mail and we got the call the following Tuesday. So it was real fast when she came to us. Genesis, she was three and a half when she came to us. We unfortunately were her fourth foster home in less than a year. Very street smart, I mean, she, felt well beyond three and a half at that point. When she came on July the 3rd or whatever date that was, I came home and, hey, what's up? I'm, I'm daddy, so let's, let's do this life thing together. She hopped right in and became part of the crew right away. Everybody that meets her loves her. <laughs> Everybody thinks she's just fun and cute and she is. We've had our adjustment periods at time and still go through them, but she's really doing great. Like most families that adopt or are in foster care, you're daily trying to figure out is this trauma personality or her age? Sometimes it's all three at once. When she came to us, we thought that this would be a relatively shorter placement and we would get to celebrate her returning home to her biological family. But as we have said many times, God had a very different plan for our family. Her mom stopped showing up to visits pretty quick. They did identify a cousin that would take her. She had maybe two visits with a cousin. We had prepared ourselves that this was going to be a hard journey, that we were probably going to love and lose. I remember the caseworker came and she's like, hey, we've got news to tell you. She may be leaving. And I remember like a pit in my stomach, just like realistically, I was just I was hurt, man. And then COVID came where we were all shut down, so no visits were happening. But about six months later, the agency we were working with came to us and said, she's lived at your home longer than any other home in her life, so would you consider being an adoptive family? We said yes. We sat down with the three older kids and let them know that this was the plan, and they just said, She's our sister anyway. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, why would adoption change any of that? She was an Archbold. Her last name was an Archbold, but from day one, I, she's a child. She needs love. We've got it. We've got the resources. We've got the space. She's been official since the first time she stepped foot in our, in our house and we saw her. Hey, the adoption went through today. <gasps> I really think that we believe that God gave us the finances, He gave us the home. And it was something that God called us into, individually and together, that I think we needed to be obedient. Our greatest command is to love, right? So to love a child for a little bit, even if it may hurt us, we shouldn't be afraid of it. We can love for a season or love for whatever God is calling us in the moment and do that well. And I think we are just so proud of our um, biological children and how they have loved her and cared for her. They have shown Christ um, to her. I would 120% have done it again because we have an, an awesome little girl that we can just love on and who had we not listened to the call that we had that her life would have been different and for all we know, our life would have been very different. This is a, a very real and tangible and much needed way to fulfill some of those direct callings that we see from God to care for the orphans and those that don't have homes. It is something that we can, we can do, we can live that out.